Apple have just released iPad OS version 18.01, meaning if you have an iPad with an M4 chip and haven't been able to update to iPad OS 18, you now can. But should you? Well, that's what we're going to cover in this video. Let's go. Yes, in this video, I'm going to take one for the team and update my iPad Pro M4 to iPad OS 18.01. Here's a quick version of the story for those just catching up. Apple released iPad OS 18, and a few people had a problem where they updated to iPad OS 18 on their M4 iPad and their iPad didn't work anymore. So Apple pulled that update and have just added it back in now that iPadOS 18.01 has been released. To update to iPadOS 18, first go to settings and then over on the left, go to general and then software update. Now, if at the top under automatic updates, you have that on, which I don't recommend, then you may have already been updated. But if not, down the bottom here, you'll notice this one, upgrade to iPadOS 18. Let's tap on that one. And here you'll see we have iPadOS 18.0.1. And what we can do is either update later or update now. Let's hit the update now button and see what happens. You'll be prompted for your passcode. You'll need to agree to the terms and conditions, twice apparently. And now you'll notice here the update has been requested. Now it's a pretty big update, around six gigabytes. So give yourself a bit of time to do this. Don't rush into this and do it when you need to use your iPad. Maybe do it overnight or in a time where you've got a couple of hours spare. That being said, it's only got three minutes left. So maybe it's already downloaded part of this or the update isn't quite as large as it first said. While that's downloading, let me give you my usual warning, which is that if you're in the middle of some critical work or something that you need to ensure gets done, do not update. iPadOS 17.7 .7 is absolutely fine, functional and secure. iPadOS 18 brings some new functionality, but not enough to potentially cause problems. So if you're using third-party apps, if you're using plugins, if you're using critical things, just make sure that those have been updated first before you take the plunge and update to iPadOS 18. One second remaining, apparently. And there you go. It's now preparing the update. And in a moment, it will install the update and we'll jump in and see how it goes. So it's been about 10 minutes now. It is taking a while to prepare this update. While it's preparing, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Make sure that you have a relevant and recent backup to iCloud of your iPad, that any of your important files are backed up in multiple locations. Every time you do any sort of operation, operating system update, there is risk involved. So make sure you got some backups. All right, we're at the final stage of the process. I can't actually <laughs> fill my screen because uh, the screen recording doesn't work while it's restarting your iPad. So this is all happening. This is done. Uh, wish me luck, folks. And now we play everyone's favorite game, Watch the Progress Bar. Okay, things are looking promising. And yes, we can see by the fact that dark mode is already enabled that we are indeed in iPad OS 18. Let's jump into settings, go back to general and and as a software update and make sure, yes, there we go. We are up to date, iPadOS 18.01. Now for me, I'm already pretty confident that everything I use is going to be working here in iPadOS 18 because I've got an older iPad that's already been updated. So I've already tested out my apps, my plugins and everything else that I use. However, again, I don't mean to be a broken record, but please don't update if you're right in the middle of a big project. If you're doing something important, it can wait till iPad OS 18.1 or even later, there's no urgency here because there's no security risk. This is all just additional features. Speaking of features, if you'd like to find out what you're going to get in the new iPad OS 18 and all the ways you can customize, check out the other videos linked in the description. I hope this has helped you out. If you've got any questions or would like to share your experience updating to iPad OS 18, drop a comment down below and I'll see you next time.